Hi, this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to use and get Tiny Umbrella. Now, what this does is it saves what's called an SHSH blob. Now, um, this is going to be for an, any version of your iPod device. You don't have to be jailbroken or anything like that to do this. This all happens on your computer. So, what, um, what this does is, um, if you, let's say you upgrade to the newest firmware, and it turns out that it wasn't jailbreakable, and, and you didn't have Cydia before, because Cydia also tries to save SHSH blobs, but it's not 100% reliable. So you're gonna, so you're gonna want to use this program to save an SHSH blob. So, let's say you want to restore back, you, you watch my video, How to Go Back to Other Firmwares, and you do it, except when it says verifying with iTunes, it says it doesn't work. It says you can't go back to an older version, and, you, and then you're, and you're stuck with the newest one until a jailbreak comes out. And it might not be a very easy jailbreak. But let's say the one that you wanted to go to has a really, really easy jailbreak. And you want to go back to it, but you can't now. Now this is what Umbrella, um, Tiny Umbrella is for. The SHSH blob basically tricks your um, iTunes into thinking it's verifying with iTunes, and really it's just verifying with something on your computer. So this is just a very um, cool and simple program that I'm going to show you how to do. I extremely recommend this that you use this before, each time before you upgrade your firmware. So, um, all this dis um, video link inside the description. So you're going to click on whatever version you have, and then all you're going to do is save it and install Tiny Umbrella. It's pretty straightforward. You didn't go into much depth about this, so I'll save it basically. And then once you do it, you're going to open it up, and it should look like this. And what it's going to have is it's going to have you're going to have to plug your device into your computer and just close the iTunes or whatever. And what you're going to do then is you're going to, um, you can, this it just has a couple things, and you, you don't really have to know much about anything in depth or what any of this stuff means. You just have to know how to save your SSH blobs. So you're going to click on your connected devices right here, and it'll start out like this. You can say save all your SSH. That's all that does. And so you're going to click on the connected devices, and what you're going to do is it has a couple options over here. It's enter recovery, exit recovery. Now this, I'm going to make a video on, on how to exit recovery mode in case you get stuck, and then this is going to be how you do it, by clicking on exit recovery in this program. But this is basically just so you can restore your iPod back to a previous version. That's, that's, all, this, that's all these are for. Now this is to save your SHSHs, SHSH blobs. So you're going to click on your device, say save your SHSH blobs. I already did, as you can see here, but you're going to just save them, and it's just going to have a little code in here, but it's just going to say when you're done saving it, and here it's the start your TSS server. Now what this is, is for when you're going back to your iTunes, you have to start this TSS server when it says verifying with Apple, because if it's not running, it really actually will verify with Apple, and you start your server, then you, ver then you can try to restore, and then it'll verify with your computer rather than Apple. So, see, this is what happened when I did it. This is what happened when I said save SHSH. It just does a bunch of stuff over here. It just says, this is your, your log and all this kind of stuff. It says, it just finds your SHSH blobs. That's all it does. So then, you can go to your general. You can see your recent devices. It works for any device. And I strongly, strongly recommend doing this before you upgrade your firmware. Because if you can't go back, then you have to wait till a new jailbreak comes out. And what if a jailbreak doesn't come out? And there's all these ifs and ands. So I really strongly recommend you saving your SHSH. Then you can just start your server and backtrack to any of your saved SHSHs. And see, like, I can't go back to 3.0 because I don't have a saved SHSH. But I can still go back to any of 4.0.2, 4.0. 4.1. I can go back to any of these. So that's how um that's how you can do it to save your SSS users. I strongly recommend doing it. And uh, that's all there really is. So um this is just something very very nice to have for your iPod. Make sure you plug it in when you do it, and you can see all your SSS users for whatever version of um iPod, iPhone, iPad, anything. So that's, that's all you have to do to save your SHSH blobs. So you can go back to any firmware you want as long as you have a blob. And it does save, save these in Cydia, but it doesn't save very much of them. It only has like two or three of them. But um, it's, it's a good thing. Um, 
just to do this anyway in case Cydia has a problem. Or if you don't have Cydia, then you can do this. Anyways, you can still do this with auto jailbreak and iPod or anything. So, um, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions at all, leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.